Oh, it's another YouTube channel about video games. So like this and subscribe to me and put some shiny quarters in my pocket so I can get more video games. Uh, throwback Thursday is upon us again, and today we're going to knock it back pretty old school to uh, Oregon Trail. We're going the... Uh, 1992 version instead of the 1990 version mainly because this is the one I remember playing as a kid uh, so uh, Yeah, let's see what we can uh, do here and this one actually has mouse control inside of it. So that's a marvelous thing You're about to begin a great adventure traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America Your covered wagon pulled by a team of oxen will travel from Independence, Missouri to the fertile Willamette Valley of the Oregon Territory approximately a journey of approximately 2,000 miles before you Set off on the trail, register your name, the names of your members of your par wagon party, your occupation, and after that you need to buy supplies and make other important decisions. Alright, so as with the first one, or the original one, you've got, you know, different things that uh, have different bonuses and whatnot. Uh, oh, oxen are less likely to get sick and die. Sick or injured people are less likely to die. That'd be good, probably, because I tend to have people die. But you get crap for a final bonus, so uh, I think we're gonna go with uh, I think we're gonna go blacksmith actually. Let's adjust the names of people here. We got Wee Wee. We got C Bear. We got A Nerdy Mom. And Batman. All right, so let's see here. We got eight hundred dollars. Let's get six oxen, ten sets of clothing. Hey. All right, let's get ten boxes of that. Actually, we got enough. Let's go ahead and go eight oxen. Need to decide and set on the trail for the trail. There won't much grass. You encounter some very cold weather, or late spring snowstorms, leave too late. You might not get there before winter, which can be very dangerous. So, I think let's go ahead and go April. Alright, let's see what we got here. Do, do, do. A severe storm. Of course there is. Yeah, there's not really much to comment on here, so I apologize on that. Uh, at least everybody's still alive so far. It's, you know, a little bit warm, but not too bad. Partly cloudy. We've reached the Kansas River Crossing. Crowds of people waiting on the fair. We could be standing here for days. Hope there's enough grass for all those animals. Not many people carry feed. I'd rather wait, though, the, than cross the boat in a rickety wagon boat. Six feet deep. Eh, let's cock it and go and see who dies. Yeah. All right. Nobody was injured and you recovered all your supplies. Wow, I must be the luckiest man alive. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Normally, it's like three people died, and you know, all of your oxen died, and then somebody laughed at you. Alright, we're doing good so far. Got some good, you know, food left. We're moving. Health is good. We've reached the Big Blue River Crossing. That is a very unoriginal name. Prairie is mighty pretty with all the wildflowers and tall grasses, but there's too much of it. I miss not having a town nearby. I wonder how many days until I see a town, a real town, with shops, a church, people. People! Alright, four feet deep. Let's try and ford this. Alright, who's dead? Uh, I lost six oxen? Sheesh! Also, honey, I'm sorry, but you died. You died. I tried to ford a river and you died. I will come help you with the remote.
certainly the missus is not happy that I'm more upset about the oxen than her demise. Burying and mourning the dead. Da -da 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 -da. Continue. At least that means less food getting eaten. Oh yeah. All right, We're coming close to a fort here soon, I think. So we'll be able to, you know, buy a uh, buy some more oxen and. It'd be awesome if you could find a new wife in the game. Sea bear has a broken arm. Sheesh. All right, let's go ahead and rest for a little bit. I don't know how he broke his arm when we were literally just sitting there. Is it? Did he fall out of the wagon? I don't. I don't know. Let's go ahead and hunt. This is the hunting I remember. These date bullets only to kill 200 pounds back. That's fine by me. I'm gonna hunt again and stock up on food and maybe sell some of it. And buy a new wife. Oh, really? Last time you were just calming all out of everywhere and now I had one rabbit? I got a squirrel. Come on, Bambi, show back up. certain this is what I spent most of my time doing and my play this in school because it's the most interactive part. Yeah, three pounds of food used to five bullets. Sweet. Continue hunting this area if game will become scarce. Oh no. Alright, still has a broken arm. Let's try hunting one more time before we get to town. Haha, <laughs> take that, Bambi. Oh, yeah, got the buffalo. My wagon wheel broke, but I was able to fix it. Sweet. Get our six oxen replacements. What? Okay, go to sleep. Children. Gotta love it. He will be fine without his elephant. Go to sleep. Children. Yeah, I love him. An ox is sick. Oh no. Apparently he's now punching his doll. No, it isn't very nice. Ah, oh, that ox died. Let's kill some more animals and eat them. Like, aren't they like literally hunting out of the back of the wagon? How can they only carry so much back? Let's go strenuous and 
Let's see what happens. Reach Chimney Rock. Important landmark. What? Leah, wee wee, be quiet. Go to sleep. Chimney Rock is an important landmark in the Oregon Trail. It's a spectacular natural formation of solid rock can be seen for miles around. In fact, you can see it for a whole day as you approach it, and for a whole another whole day as you leave it behind. If you don't see it at all within a week or so to leave in Fort Kearney, you've probably strayed too far from the trail. Oh, Batman has typhoid fever. Oh no. Well, at least sea bears well again. Let's go ahead and rest here for a couple of days and see if Batman can get better. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's no wonder I never managed to like get through more than one game of this when I was in school. So much waiting. Woohoo, I found a bunch of stuff in an abandoned wagon and Batman as well again. Sweet. Now I just need my wife to turn into Lady Stoneheart and we'll be marvelous. Sweet. Lots and lots and lots of food. What? I'm, I, okay, the river's on the other side, I guess. Independence Rock. Important landmark and resting place along the Oregon Trail. Its natural large formation, almost 200 feet tall, is made of soft stone into which many travelers have carved their names and initials of brief messages. It gets its name at the fact that in order to stand schedules, tra travelers try to reach it no later than July 4th, Independence Day. Hey, it's June 4th. We're good. Seriously, how did I not have to cross that river? Annoyed. So annoyed, I need to go. I need to go hunt some more. Why won't you? There you go. Ooh, wild fruit. Nuts to this. Let's go grueling. Wagon tongue break. Sweet. I don't care about you people. Let's take the shortcut. Gonna cross a river, probably gonna die. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, somebody probably gonna die. Hunt all of it so that way nobody else can come and hunt here. Pounds of food. Nice. Dun 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 You've reached the Green River Crossing. Twenty feet deep. <laughs> I really want to attempt to ford it, but I don't think that'll work. Let's uh, cock it and float. Wow, I am kind of amazed. You made it safely across. 
squirrel hmm. really the buffalo only made 300 pounds sea bear got bitten by a snake Sheesh, she's unlocking and... no he's had a broken arm and he got bitten by a snake now he got better from the broken arm at least now we're delayed for who knows how long because I lost the trail. Eh, let's kill stuff while we're waiting. I know the rabbits are useless, but it's entertaining. Come here, Thumper. Thumper. Mm, whatever. Two pounds of, oh, one pound of food and use seven bullets. Oh, if I continue, it'll become scarce, really? Because it seemed pretty scarce to me. Uh, all right, we're finally moving again. Yay. No grass for the oxen. Yay, sea bears well again. So do springs. Oh, another important landmark and stopping off point. It gets its name from the alkaline sodium mineral springs you find there. Some travelers separate from the Oregon Trail at this point and head southwest to California. Others wait until they get to Fort Hall before going on the California Trail. All right. No water, even though we just passed a spring. No water. Reached Fort Hall. Let's go ahead and rest for a little bit. Let everybody heal up. Do, 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 I think it actually makes you wait while you're resting is a little bit annoying. It's cool though. It's cool. Lost the trail, yeah, no water, so we're all gonna die. Delayed, delayed, delayed. Getting hot, we lost the trail and we have no water. Oh no. No grass, no grass. No water and no grass, but hey, there's a river. Found some fruit. I would assume near this, you know, river there would be grass. Ooh, bad water, awesome. This is what happens when you know. Oh, Seabear has another broken arm. For the love of <sighs> kid. No, that's not what I wanted to do. If leaving Fort Hall, the trail follows the Snake River for hundreds of miles. It gets steam from the way it twists and turns through this rugged country, sometimes through steep gorges. But the trail is fairly flat, though dry and desolate near the river, which makes wagon travel possible. Crossing the river can be very dangerous. Hundred feet wide, or a thousand feet wide, and six feet deep. Yeah, let's hire the Indian. Oh, Lord, you can tell that's a dated ref or a dated name for it, because I don't think they get away with saying that now. We made it! Ooh, more wild fruit. Alright, we're going to stop and rest so nobody dies from not resting. Do 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 do
500. Oh, sea bear was bitten by a snake. Oh my. Poor Boise was built in the Hudson's Bay Company in 1834 as a fur trading outpost. Post. Its name comes from the French word Boise, meaning wooded. That's because there are lots of trees here along the dry bridge on the Snake River Plain to the east. An important stop on the Oregon Trail that stands on the banks of the Boise River, a tributary to the Snake River. Poor health. Might as well rest again. I wonder what the maximum time you can rest. Just have them rest for like 10 years. Seriously, this game does not play well to my impatience. Yay, it's still recording. <laughs> that would have sucked. Especially since earlier I tried to do this and it didn't record because I was trying a different method. And Yeah. That one was much more death filled. They actually died before we made it to the end. I only think we made it halfway before everybody died. Plus, you had one of my kids climbing on the table over and over again, so lots of yelling at him. That was fun. The trail is impassable. Let's kill stuff, then. ba 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 bear ba 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 bison ba 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 Uh, most you can rest for is nine days. Let's go ahead and do a three. Since the trail's impassable anyway right now. Yay, sea bears well again. I wonder from which issue. Hmm, huh, totally well. Sweet. Still delayed, don't know why. Grande Ronde. Grande Ronde, I think. French for Great Ring. There's a river that runs through roughly parallel to the Blue Mountains. Oregon Trail crosses through the Grande Ronde River Valley just before the mountains. The valley's noted for its beauty and it's greatly appreciated by immigrants as a sign that the journey is nearing its end. Well, let's take the shortcut. Batman has a fever. Amazing how, like, you know, we had one person die and two people who have been sick repeatedly. Heavy fog, really, in August? Really? Game right. More heavy fog and no grass for the oxen. It's the Dallas. All right. We're going to raft it. remember this game being more exciting but maybe that's because I always like played through it like the grueling pace and never stopped and everyone just usually died I don't know Do, 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 do. Almost there. Kinda wanna just crash into a rock to make it more exciting, but I ran out of them. Congratulations, you've reached the Willamette Valley. All right, not a bad score, I don't think. All right, well, that is the Oregon Trail. Yeah, nowhere near as fun as I remember, but then again, it's supposed to be educational, so I don't really know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, you know, tell people about it on the bus, whatever. You know, it's cool. 
Um, so I'll catch you around next time. More heavy fog and no grass for the oxen. It's the Dallas. All right. We're going to raft it. remember this game being more exciting but maybe that's because I always like played through it like the grueling pace and never stopped and everyone just usually died I don't know Do, 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 do. Almost there. Kind of want to just crash into a rock to make it more exciting, but I ran out of them. Congratulations, you've reached the Willamette Valley. Alright, not a bad score, I don't think. All right, well, that is the Oregon Trail. Yeah. Nowhere near as fun as I remember, but then again, it's supposed to be educational, so I don't really know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, you know, tell people about it on the bus, whatever. You know, it's cool. Um, so I'll catch you around next time.